Hello everyone, Lori Baracco here, and I am going to be sharing my predictions for the week of October 30th, 2022. And since we are just about to start a new month, November, I'm gonna work with a new deck. And for the month of November, it's the Dream Keepers Tarot by Liz Houston. All right, let's see what this upcoming week has in store for us as a collective. So I'm giving my cards a bit of a shuffle. I've been shuffling them um, to get them a little bit broken in before I started recording. So I'm gonna select a card from the top, the middle, and the back of the deck. Okay, so this is my first time working with this deck. <clears throat> and as I mentioned, I've been shuffling. So I pulled a card from the top, the middle, and the back of the deck. So we've got the Three of Swords. Then we have the Two of Swords. And then we have the Emperor Reversed. Oh my gosh. This looks like it's going to be a week of pushy people, people pushing their agendas on us. And... Um, you might even feel like you're backed in a corner. Now, I also want to um, kind of reverse that a little bit. It could also be that we are the ones who are pushing our agenda on others as well. So it probably is both and, I'm going to say, for this upcoming week. So um, it definitely looks like we're in for a treat or two um, with um, trying to unravel some of that mind stuff and, and those projections. We are still in the eclipse portal season. So when we have eclipses, the eclipses bring what's kind of tucked underneath the surface to the surface to bring the light in and to help us address what's really going on. You know, sometimes people will say something and, we'll, and we just say, look, just, just be honest, just let's clear the air, no more smoke and mirrors, what's really going on? And that's what is um, the agenda of spirit this week. So with the Three of Swords, it's where we're finding ourselves in the middle of um, heartache, disappointment, and we're looping. It's mainly that loop that we keep going round and round and round, and we can inter interchange different people and scenarios, but it's the same theme of heartache, really getting, um, uh, feeling the, having the feeling of disappointment and possibly grief and sadness. So Spirit's trying to get us outside of that loop with that Two of Swords, um, trying to step into more of the rational part of things. Um, they're saying, again, this is both and. The, okay, so getting to the rational point of part of things without allowing your emotions to hijack what's going on right now, right? So sometimes our emotions, like that uh, immediate reaction, triggers us. And then so we make decisions based upon that. So Spirit's saying, wait, 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 let's reason this through. And then the other part of this is that Maybe we're not being empathetic and thinking about the other party, or maybe people aren't being empathetic with us and they are not showing compassion and looking at things from our point of view and not understanding that. So that's coming to the surface. It's going to be right front and center. So we cannot avoid it and we will not overlook it. And that last card is the emperor reversed. So the emperor is one who is... Oh, feeling confident and in control and navigating through things and with ease and is smooth. When he's reversed, he could be a bit of a bully. And again, pushing his agendas and not being flexible and not seeing different sides of the coin, all sides of the coin. So um, like I said, it's an interesting week. And so try to take a moment or two to not allow yourself to step into that loop of the drama and the chaos and the mind and the self-sabotage and other people sabotage, self-sabotage too. Because sometimes people don't, we often don't realize we're self-sabotaging. And then we kind of pull people in, we rope them in, and then they're in our sabotage or we're in their sabotage, right? So. Enough is enough is what Spirit's saying. So that's one of the com the common themes of this eclipse season. All right. Well, sending you all many blessings and take your time with all of this. And remember, this is all purposeful. I'm Lori Baracco. Namaste.